In this video, I will show you how to save your important Outlook emails to Airtable automatically. So I'm going to automate this process by integrating Outlook and Airtable application with the help of an automation software. And after that, every time a new email is received, the save email along with all details will be saved automatically into the Airtable, like the subject line, body of the email, date of the email sender, name, email address, and etc. So if you also want to keep a track record of all the important emails, Emails into Airtable directly from Outlook then come with me and I will show you everything step by step and the best part of this automation is any non-technical person can create it very easily. So this is my Outlook account and this is the Airtable account here you can notice I have already added the column like the sender name, sender email, date and time of email, subject and body of the email and to automate this process I am going to integrate both the application with Pabli Connect which is an integration and automation software. I am an existing user of Pabli Connect so you can notice I am already logged in. You can also create your free account in Pabli Connect in just 2 minutes from the sign up free button and in the free account you will also get free tasks to test these kinds of amazing automation now after reaching out to the dashboard of Pabli connect directly click on this blue button that is create workflow and then provide a random name to your workflow to your automation okay so I'm going to provide the name basically I have pasted the name as save outlook emails to Airtable automatically okay now simply click on create and after that you will notice two boxes okay so these boxes are called as trigger and action okay and here the trigger means when this happens an action means do this so Whenever this happens, then automatically do this. Try to understand with an example also. Let's say whenever a sale happens in a payment gateway application, then automatically send an email via Gmail application to your customer. Okay, so this is how you need to always select the applications in which you are building an automation. Okay, so according to our use case, whenever any new email is arrived in this Microsoft 365 application, all right, I'll have to refresh it so that this logo can appear let me search for the 365 once again here so whenever a new email is arrived in microsoft 365 application then automatically save that email into this uh, Airtable application okay so let me select the Airtable application here in this action event okay and now the idea here is I am going to connect both the applications one by one with the Pabli connect okay so firstly I will select the trigger event that is new email you can even read the instruction that triggers when a new message is received okay so I uh, yes I want to do the same whenever a new message a new email is received in my Microsoft 365 account this automation should trigger or we can say the Pabli connect should capture the details of that email here okay so simply click on add new connection and click on this button and then you will have to provide the access of your Microsoft 365 account okay because I have provided this access multiple times so I am going with the existing connection but make sure if you are building this connection for the first time you'll have to go with the new connection only after that you can also go with the existing connection now as soon as i click on this button you will notice that whatever the most recent email is arrived in my outlook account the detail of that email will be captured here automatically okay so how about i send a fresh a new email in front of you to the same email address okay so this is my email address which i have connected with pabli connect and i am sending this important email that is freelance work is completed hello team i have completed and submitted the work sharing the bank details with this email kindly pay the amount of this and bank details okay let me send the same email all right so the mail has been sent now i will wait once the email is arrived in my outlook account and after that i'll click on that button and you will see that those email details will be captured via public connect Alright, so this is the same email. The freelance work is completed. Coming back to Pabli Connect dashboard, clicking on this button and waiting for the response to receive here. So you can notice the response is received and here you can see we have the sender email address. I'm sorry, this is not a sender email address. This is basically an recipient email address. Okay, so we have the recipient email address and the name. Okay, we even have the same subject line that is freelance work is completed. Let me show you other details also. All right, so here we have the sender name. Here we have the sender email address. Here we have the date and time of the email. And now I will show you the body of 
of that email okay where is the body of that email okay under this body preview section you can see the whole email okay hello team i have completed and submitted the work sharing the bank details with this email kindly pay the amount and you can see that this is the same email okay so now the presence of this data clearly shows that the connection in between pabli connect and in between this outlook account is working absolutely fine okay so the first step of our automation is done and now i want to save the important emails from outlook to a table so the application is already selected firstly i will select the action even that is create a record and just like we have connected outlook and pabli connect this time i am going to connect a table and pabli connect okay now for the connection it will ask you the token okay so i am already logged in into my a table account so it will directly take me to that specific place and here as per the instruction i am going to click on a scope and then i will create a scope and then i will select all these scopes okay so this is the section click on this create new button and then provide a random name okay so connection with outlook i'm providing a random name all right and from this particular section you will have to uh, select the following scopes which are actually mentioned here okay that is the data records read data records write data records comment read data records comment write and lastly schema based read and this is also okay so let me select the same one by one data records read all right data records write and give me a second let me select all the scopes Now once all the scopes are selected now you will have to select the base also that is all current and future bases and again it is mentioned here into the description and as soon as you click on this create token button you will get a token okay so let me copy the same clicking on done coming back to pabli connect pasting the same token here clicking on save and this is how my airtable account will be also connected with the pabli connect immediately So here you can notice it is connected and because we are connected whatever the bases are available in my Airtable account have started visible here okay so i am going to select which particular base okay so we have the name as all important emails okay i have created this specific base let me search for the same all right here we have the same base id and in the table id you will notice that whatever the table id i have added okay so here we have the lead data okay so you will notice that the same has select it automatically and now it is asking for the sender name sender email date of date and time of email subject and body of the email so basically these are the same columns which i have created into my a table application i'm sorry for that so i just need to provide the details into these fields and click on that button and the details will be added automatically into a table okay so from where i will provide this data remember we have just captured the same data into our previous step okay and the interesting thing is i don't need to manually copy the above data and paste it here i am going to map the data and mapping is very simple click on this field and you will find the above data here in the drop down okay now you will have to search for the data asking for the email okay so let me search for the sender email which was this all right i have added and in the same way one by one i will map other details also like the sender name now you must be thinking that what is this mapping which i am repeating here again and again okay so whatever the details i am mapping here these details will be replaced automatically when this automation will work in real time in next time yes with every single email with every new email these details will be replaced automatically and this is how with the help of mapping this automation is going to take place how about i directly search for the body preview section and here we have the body content okay let me map the same and now i will be directly clicking on this button and i'm really expecting that this data should be added automatically into a table and here you can see that the response is received let me check and here you can notice we have the sender email the sender name date and time of email the subject and body of the email as well okay i'll have to check why this body of the email has been captured in this particular format okay 
so instead of the body content let me first to show you instead of body content here i have mapped this body preview okay and after that when i have clicked on that button the correct data has been updated into my a tables sheet okay let me delete the existing the previous data and here we have all the details okay so the presence of this data clearly shows that the connection in between a table and babli connect is also working absolutely fine okay but the interesting twist here is whatever the automation we have have set up how it is going to work every time a new email is arrived it should be saved automatically into the air table but in that case every single email doesn't matter if it is about a promotion marketing or if it is an important email every single email will be saved into the air table but i want to save only the certain type of email which met certain conditions okay so let's say i want to fetch only those important emails which consist of the words like freelance or the payment or the amount word okay so how i will define the same thing in my automation that it should save only those specific emails not every single email well that is very easy with the public connect simply click on on this plus icon before your a table step and then search for the filter which is an amazing feature of pabli connect via which you can apply different kind of condition within your workflow within your automation and with this uh, with the help of this or or with the help of this plus icon you can add as many add a condition as you want from this particular section you can add an and condition and from here you can directly add a or condition or means either or situation okay so i want that if my subject line or a body of the email consist of several kind of words like freelance or payment or amount or due okay so i am going to find a certain keywords and based on that keywords only i am going to filter out all the emails from the outlook email account okay so in the select label you will notice that the same data is visible let me first search for the subject line because firstly i will set the same scenario on subject line okay again searching for the subject line okay so if my subject line contains the word or i can also say equal to okay so if my subject line contains the word like freelance okay for the if my subject line contains the word like amount and in this way i can add as many as condition as i want okay currently i am only setting up two condition for the subject line and further i am going to add two more condition for the body uh, body content also basically content of the email okay so let me search for the same that is body preview okay so if the body preview consist of the word okay and again this is an either or condition if any of the condition is true then this condition will be true and if that condition is true what will happen our automation will proceed further again in the filter type i will select as contains and lastly here in the value i will define something like payment and or i can add work completed well this was just an example that how you can pick set of keywords which are surely going to come in your important emails you can pick those set of words and define here in the filter and based on those keywords based on those condition this automation will take place okay so if the condition is true what will happen the next step will be executed but if none of the condition is true what will happen our condition will be false and in that case our automation mission will not executed further it will stuck here only this is not going to proceed and the emails will not be added into our a table account okay so this is how you can entirely automate the process of capturing the important details from outlook to a table and to automate this process you need to create this automation inside public connect just once after that you can sit back and relax because Pabli Connect will take care of all the task in the back end and let me also tell you whenever you will wait for the email to be updated here you will have to wait at least for 10 minutes because this trigger will check for the new data in 10 minutes okay basically the trigger here is the polling based which is going to capture the new important email into the Pabli Connect in every 10 minutes okay so you might have to wait for at least 10 minutes but after that your email data will surely be updated automatically okay and just in case if you want to 
access this three step automation inside your Pabli Connect account, I will also attach this link into my description box. You just need to click on that link and sign up into the Pabli Connect, and then you will be able to access this workflow, this automation inside your Pabli Connect account that too for free. Not just these applications, you can integrate multiple applications and automate your business with Pabli Connect. You can ask your queries at forum.pabli.com. My team will surely answer to your questions. This is the website of Pabli Connect and for the latest updates of Pabli Connect and unique automation ideas, you can join our Facebook group that is formget.deals. If you have found this video helpful in any way, share it with your friends and colleagues and also help them to automate their business. Like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching this video.